everybody, this is a continuation of my Spaghetti Squash 101 series. Today we're going to talk about how to select, store, and preserve spaghetti squash. When you're shopping for them in the grocery store, you want to look ones that are f firm and free of blemishes, and don't have any cracks on them, ones that look healthy and fresh. They should feel heavy for their size. And if possible, you want to choose one that has a, just a little bit of stem attached to it. Reason for that being is if that stem is completely cut off, some of that flesh in the inside may be exposed and some bacteria can actually get into the squash that way. So you do want a little bit of stem still attached to it. Now when you get it home, you want to store it unwrapped in a cool, dry, well-ventilated place that the ideal temperature for storage of your winter squash like this would be 55 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Now how long they are going to last like this depends upon how old it is when you buy it, but if it's a fairly fresh one kept in the right conditions, it should last for up to about three months for you. So that's a pretty good extended shelf life. Now, if you choose to put it in the refrigerator, that's actually colder than the ideal temperature. And like that, it will last for you uh, one to two weeks in the fridge, which is fine if that's what you want to do. Now, once you cut it, whether it's been cooked or not, once you cut it, you do want to make sure it's tightly wrapped and stored in the refrigerator and then obviously use it as soon as you can. Now if you want to preserve your spaghetti squash for later use, you actually can freeze it, but you do need to cook it first, separate the strands, and you have two choices here. You could go ahead right away and put them in a freezer bag and squeeze out as much air as you can and then put it in the freezer or you could put it in a colander and cover it up, put it in your refrigerator overnight and allow any extra moisture to drain out of there and then drain off that liquid and then put the rest of the pulp either in a freezer bag and squeeze the air out or put it in an airtight container with a good lid that's made for the freezer and put it in there and frozen properly it'll keep for you for about eight months in the freezer. So that's one good way to hold on to it for a while if you buy some or grow some and you don't want to use them right away. Well if you have any questions beyond this on selecting, storing, and preserving your spaghetti squash do let me know. I'll answer the questions if I possibly can. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.